Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is the 12th session of the HRSD series. Uh, today we'll talk about the HR catalog. Uh, so last few days we talked about a lot of things. So if you have not guys watched my previous video, I would suggest go and watch my previous video. Also, um, uh, some of the people are asking me uh, one to one that they need that these documents that uh, PPT that I am referring. So if you need this PPT, I have my own website called Snow Expert Rohit. Uh, you can go and download it or check from there. So if you see here in this my website, uh, there is a section called documentation. If you go to the documentation, I have uploaded the HRSE documentation. You can go and then uh, check from there uh, whatever uh, things you needed. So it's already there. You can get complete uh, documentation from there. Okay. So without wasting time, let's get started the HR catalog today. So HRSD, uh, HR catalog is nothing but that catalog item will be available into the ESC portal. We talk about that and HR catalog, uh, whenever we create the HR catalog, we will automatically generate the HR services. So if we are planning to available some of the catalog item um, in the ESC portal, HR catalog item, then we should not create the HR services. Automatically, the HR services will be created and further steps we can done. Okay, and HR catalog is nothing but it's a record producer, still a record producer, which is extending to the SCCAD item table and it will be generate that uh, a record producer, but in a completely new view in the UI view. Okay, so let's see in that our service now how we can do that HR catalog item. So in the service, uh, in the service now instance, you type the HR catalog uh, here you have your options called manage HR catalog. If you simply click that, all the catalog item that is uh, present for HR item will be available. So these are the catalog item are available and these are the categories we have right now. If you see, we have a payroll category, a visa category, HR services, uh, HR systems, general, these are the categories we have. Okay, so if you want to create a new category, definitely you can go and create a new category here. And even you can each category have a uh, catalog item. You can see that this catalog item belongs to only one category. You can um, plan one catalog item to the multiple categories also. You can remove the catalog item from this category by these options also. Okay. So today we are going to create a new catalog item and we will see that how this catalog item by creating the catalog item, how it will be available in the ESC portal and how these um, will be generate the HR services and what are the HR services can be configured. So the very first thing I'll go and uh, open the ESC portal and show you that uh, this catalog item. So uh, ESC portal or employee um, uh, self-service uh, catalog item here, you can see you have your options called catalog item and where you can directly go and check all the catalog item. So simply I'll click here or else you can search in the tops to get that. So I'll simply click the catalog item. Once we click the catalog item, it will redirect to the ESC SC catalog item. And here you can see uh, all these category that we are talking here is available. So let's see the payroll category. Uh, if you see that this is the payroll category. Under this payroll, uh, we have uh, four catalog item. And if I go back to that under the payroll, we have the four catalog item. This way it is determined uh, in this benefits, we have 22 catalog item. So uh, if I see here in this somehow it, it should be there are more 15 categories here. So this is the benefit sections and in these benefit sections, we have all these catalog item. OK, so these all are catalog item. We are going to create a new catalog item and I'll show you that how it is generating the HR services. So if I uh, here go to the HR services, um, HR service configuration. Right now we have the HR uh, service con uh, services is 50. So if I create one catalog item, as I mentioned, it will be generated one HR services. It means that there will be one increment here. So let's go back here and in under the benefits, I am going to create one catalog item called gift card issue or something like that. 
so i'll create a new catalog item here it is asking me for uh, name so i'll put that uh, gift card issue and short description i'll put the gift card issue um, um descript short description okay here we have a case type and in this case case type it is asking that case type means that which will be the, our coe for uh, gift card okay so our case uh, let's select that total reward so basically as i mentioned that um, coe is nothing but a uh, extended of extended of this uh, hr case parent table so it will have that all this child table name so total rewards will be the table name whenever the case will be created topic category we have decided that should we go to the benefits and uh, topic uh, details uh, whatever details you think that it should be you can define that assignment groups uh, so let's say that we will say that hr benefits for the timing and priority will set as a low and then simply uh, click the submit you can create, create the publish but creating the publish means that it will be create one um, uh, you know uh, the catalog item will be published and activated at that moment but if you see here it is showing the gray it means that it is inactive and you can still edit that okay so let's see the HR services and see it is available or not so if I refresh here you can see one uh, HR services is getting created and then if I search with the HR service name called uh, gift card you can see this is gift card HR services got uh, gets created and then uh, these have a uh, service table in the total reward nothing but say COE uh, is selected that um, there so if I open that uh, it have all these details called value uh, the fulfillment type is manual COE is selected template also get created for that record producer also created okay so let's open the template and see and this template what are the value they have selected so you can see that in this value uh, I selected the assignment group I selected the priority and short description everything is set on the template even okay now going back here you can have still options to edit this catalog item and then uh, uh, edit case template you can uh, edit the template so first I'll edit this one edit this catalog item once you click the edit it will directly land to the record producer and you can see that record producer is still in inactive inactive situation uh, you can inact um, you can uh, you know uh, make it active if you want um, and you can get a couple of um, three you can if you want you can create a couple of variables and then um, if you want to take some input you can uh, take the input from the user I'll not go details uh, much details here. Uh, you have your uh, cat catalog is selected that HR uh, C and then uh, um, here the catalog uh, category is the benefits category and um, that's it. I mean all that thing. If you want to take any additional input, you can take that um, here in the variables. So let's say I'll create one variables. I'll put that uh, detail uh, details description something like that and in this detail descriptions i'll map to a field called descriptions we have available uh, so i'll map to that um, description so if you see here i'll put the description field here so we have a two type of description one is the um, descriptions um, and then the rich text description I'll set that description only and then submit that. So nothing uh, else I am doing here. Going back to that, I uh, again manage Azure catalog item. And here we have, this is completely a UI page, which is showing in a good way uh, that all the catalog item. And here, if I go back to the gift card uh, you, uh, and here, um, you can click that edit case template. If you click here, it will open the HR template. And then in this HR template, if you want to set certain fields, you can set that. Basically, um, uh, 
you can uh, do whatever you need uh, whatever um, value you want to set that okay um, uh, these things can be directly you can directly go back to the HR service and go to the HR template and you can do whatever things you needed right so going back I am just going to activate this catalog item right now so I'll go here and click the edit and activate that catalog item and see that it will be available uh, I'll show you that it will be available into that um, you know our portal so I'll click the active and then simply save that now this catalog item is activated if I go back to here in the portal and um, search with our catalog item called gift card I should be able to see that so let's load more and uh, there are a few more catalog items is available and where is our catalog item so this is the gift card issue that catalog item we have created and this catalog item are uh, definitely um, uh, have one variable so we have created called um, uh, detailed descriptions once we submit that it will generate a uh, HR case so instead of backend it now it will be created that um, you know uh, uh, I mean from the portal we can create the uh, our HR case okay now going back to this HR case uh, if I open this HR case here so in this HR case you can see the short description is set it um, um, so gift card issue for um, the administrator name and then here it is assigned to that HR benefits and as I mentioned that if you create the HR case from the portal it will be directly in the steady state and as it is in ready state based on this uh, you know assignment group it will be assigned to a person so that's how it is working the um, the record producer we map the variables to the description so whatever this, um, uh, details we have provided during the creation of the HR case uh, it is uh, uh, added to the description okay so that's how uh, you know your uh, you can create the HR case and then from the HR case you can you know uh, from the HR catalog item you can um, create the HR case to that particular table if you see in the top URL the table name is the total rewards here also you can see the table name is the total rewards because during the um, HR uh, catalog creation we have selected that uh, HR type is the total rewards case in that case the case which HR case which is created under the total rewards table so that's all about now if I go back to that uh, here in this HR services I just want to cover two things one is the uh, HR criteria what is the HR criteria and there is two mandatory field which is not set we'll talk about this one later uh, let's uh, select this one we'll discuss this point later okay uh, so if we see that HR criteria what is the HR criteria HR criteria is nothing but um, the who should be able to view this HR catalog uh, who should be able to see these HR services from the native view that we call the HR criteria and even who should be able to see that case that is we call HR criteria so if you see that document here what is the HR criteria HR criteria defines that the audience for the HR content services or the case so the audience of that who should be able to access this HR case or services and uh, that is the HR criteria you can make the information available to or create the HR case for the specific group individuals or all employees using the HR criteria so by creating the HR criteria you can define that to whom this HR case or uh, these uh, you know uh, create uh, these HR services will be available you can define that by creating the HR criteria so we are going to create a HR criteria today so let's click here and then there are a lot of HR criteria already there you can create any of this HR criteria so um, let's say I will define that HR criteria is the admin only something like that and submit once you create the HR criteria HR criteria will be available and it will be automatically attached to that let's go back to the HR criteria and see how uh, what additional things we need to be configured under this HR criteria you have a options called conditions so where you need to be put the conditions um, so I am going to put the condition here so I'll click the new here 
and uh, maybe you can define that to which user uh, um, or which condition you want to apply for uh, HR criteria. Okay, so let's say that uh, the profile, uh, so 573 uh, profile is there, right? So you can define any of this filter and make that uh, department is the IT, right? So department equal to IT, they should be available, uh, they should be able to see that. So I'll say that department. So only IT department should be uh, uh, here user column we will select the user and save that record. So in that case, this uh, this HR case will be only available for IT uh, IT person. Okay. Even if you want to make it that for only admin, this case you can uh, query to the HR, um, I mean user role and then you can do that. Okay. So let's go back to that um, user criteria again. HR criteria. So this HR criteria is applied here. Now you can convert this HR criteria to the user criteria. What is the user criteria? So user criteria is nothing but a uh, criteria to see any knowledge article or any of this catalog item. So in this case, we have created one catalog item, right? So if I go back to that HR uh, catalog here and open our catalog item under these benefits we have a catalog item gift cards if you click edit this catalog item is right now available for everyone if you see here we have options called available for this available for is nothing i mean nobody is at that moment available for it means that this catalog item is available for everyone anyone can create that but if we can uh, if we can convert um here we can actually add the uh, user criteria okay for that what we have to do this hr criteria can be converted as a user criteria user criteria is created and if i go back here and then click available for and here i can uh, see all these user criteria along with the newly created uh, user criteria so this is the user criteria which is created right now i will just add that so that this catalog item will be available only for that particular user uh, like department is IT and now if I go back and open this user, user criteria I'll show you that what uh, it is showing right now so it have uh, some script and then that script have uh, automatic edit as well so this way you can create the user criteria you can create the uh, you know uh, you can um, HR criteria you can convert HR criteria to the user criteria and then attach to a particular catalog item uh, you can create the HR catalog item, the catalog item will generate the HR services and then from there you can um, do a lot of stuff. If you need any ad additional changes on your HR services, you can still go to that HR um, service configuration and as per our previous video, uh, like uh, whatever we have did, um, you can still customize that to attach the um, um, service activity to attach the workflow you can still make these changes and then then only you can activate that okay so that's it for today uh, i hope you guys like my video thank you very much have a great day